Hi, my name is Bonnie Barker. I'm with BonnieBayCrochet.com and today we're going to make coasters. These are made out of 100% worsted weight cotton. Um, let me show you an example. Um, sugar and cream is one of the many um, examples out there. Um, it takes less than one, one ball. In fact, I would encourage you to just use any scraps that you may have. Um, you may do various things. You may make them all one color or you could combine you know, multiple colors um, to make to make these. They're very simple. They come together in very quick time and it can look quite lovely sitting on you know, on your table. And because they're cotton, they absorb the moisture and maybe can help you know, a little bit with the spills, but mostly the moisture and the condensation that acquires, um, that accumulates when you have a hot or a cold drink. And these are really, really sweet. The other things you're going to need are a size H crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a yarn needle to hide those extra threads at the end. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, well first thing we're going to do is start with our slip knot. If you're a true beginner to crochet, I do have other videos that can explain the stitches that I'm doing in more detail and I'd encourage you to do that. But having said that, I think this is an excellent project for beginners. Okay, we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. I'm going to join with the slip stitch to the very first chain. Uh, it's a little stiffer because it is cotton to slip stitch. Okay, it makes a little tiny circle. We're going to chain two. One, two. And we're going to by going into the center of the ring, we're going to crochet 10 double crochets. Let me show you another trick that I like to show people. When I'm crocheting in the round, I have the extra string here. I'm going to put that on the outside to make sure that I am crocheting around that as well. So that when we're done with this first round, we are just going to simply clip it and don't have to worry about hiding it at the end. Okay, let me make a quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, let's try that one again. Eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to join with a slip stitch to the first stitch. I don't like to use uh, the turning chain because I don't really, really want that to stand out. So I'm going to go into the top of the double crochet and do a slip stitch and we're done with round one. Now like I said before, let's go ahead. We're just going to carefully clip and get rid of this strand so it's hidden forever. I'm going to chain two, one, two. Now this round we're going to work two double crochets in each stitch. I'm going to start by working two double crochets in the same place where I joined the slip stitch. And I'm going to do two double crochets all the way around in each stitch. So at the end of this round I should have 20 stitches. Let me go ahead and get those 20 stitches and then I'll show you round three. Okay, now that I've gone all the way around and I have 20 double crochets. I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round. Okay, that completes round two. Now we're going to chain two and we're going to do that one more time. We're going to put two double crochets in the same place where I joined and two double crochets in each stitch around like so. Okay, at the end of this round, I should have 40 stitches in all. Now, I am not including the chain two in any of these counts, just to let you know. I'm just counting the true double crochets. I'm going to go ahead and finish all the way around, then I'll show you what I have. Now that I've gone all the way around, I have 40 double crochets on this round. I'm going to join with a slip stitch to the first double crochet of the round. Now I'm going to chain one. Now we're going to chain, we're going to um, work single crochets instead of double crochets. I want you to work two 
double crochets in the first stitch. Then we're going to work two in the next stitch and then one in the next stitch. We're going to repeat that around two single crochets and then one single crochet. Two single crochets and then one. Okay, so alternating two and then one all the way around. When we finish this round and I'll show you what we have. Okay, now that we've gone all the way around, I'm going to go ahead and join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round. Now at this point, um, I can continue on with the same color and make the cable stitch that we're going to use as the outer border um, the same. But in order to show how to change colors, I'm going to go ahead and, and fasten this color off just like so. I'm going to go ahead and cut, leaving a nice, a nice long thread so that it's easier to hide. And I'm going to change now to use yellow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get this ready. Okay. I'm going to join. Actually, I'm going to join in a different place from where I finished off because I want to be able to hide both of these knots really well. So I'm going to join with a slip stitch. Let's pull this through. Okay, just like so. I'm going to hold this behind me to include that strand as I do my first single crochet. I'm going to do that again. I didn't like the way that looked. So I'm going to pull that out. Ah, oh, that looks a little better. Now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. Now we're doing the what we call the cable stitch. This is a cable made using single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to skip the next two stitches and I'm going to single crochet in the next. Okay, so you should have a little loop like this. I'm going to turn. Now I'm going to work in one side only of the chain, of the, each of the three chains. I'm going to single crochet in each of those chains. That's one, two, and three. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the top of the first single crochet that I made, just like so. Okay, now I'm going to turn again. Now I'm going to work in the back, I'm sorry, in the two single crochets that we skipped. And I'm going to put that little extra thread right on top of that so that I can work that into my work. Okay, now that I've worked that in, I'm going to go ahead and trim that while I can. Okay, so get rid of another string. Hooray. Okay, so now we're going to just repeat that around. I'm going to do this several times because I know this is, a, this is a tricky stitch. I've chained three. I'm going to skip the next two stitches that haven't been worked in, and I'm going to single crochet in the next stitch, like so. I'm going to turn my work, and working in the chain, I'm going to work three single crochets. One, two, three, and then slip stitch in the single crochet. I'm going to turn again. Now working in the two, two stitches that we skipped, which are right here, I'm going to single crochet in those stitches. One, two. Okay, so now we have two, two little cables here. So we're going to do this all the way around. I'm going to do a, do a couple more. Chain three, skip two, single crochet in the next stitch, turn, and we're going to single crochet in the three chains. Again, just going through one side of them. Make it easy. You don't have to go through both loops. That would be kind of crazy. Now we're going to do a slip stitch in that single crochet. We're going to turn. Let me show you what I'm doing when I turn. I put the yarn around. That's one way to turn. 
and then we do single crochet in the two stitches. Now I, I just realized I was turning in kind of a complicated way. I'm going to slow down and try this again. One, two, three. I was doing it the other way when I flipped the yarn around the hook, usually because um, I'm doing this stitch with afghans which are huge and I don't want to have to flip the entire afghan around every single time. So that was kind of a method I've developed. But let me go ahead and do a simpler way. Okay, I'm going to skip the next two stitches. Now this is where, this is a chain where it was hooked into this single crochet. So that counts as one. And then this is two. And then we're going to use the third to make our next single crochet. I'm going to turn. Single crochet. Whoops. Let's get and the next, whoop, you know, I didn't get all the strands. That is an issue with cotton sometimes, is especially the dishcloth cotton. Okay, one, two, three. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the next stitch. Now I'm just going to simply turn again. You don't have to do that fancy move that I did before. Okay, so now this is a little tricky. You're going to do one, two. Okay, I'm going to do one more. One, two, three. Skip two single crochets, single crochet, and the next stitch. I'm going to turn, and we're going to work one, two, three single crochets in those chains, a slip stitch, and turn it again. And now we're going to work a single crochet in the two single crochets that we skipped. One, two. Let me show you what we've got so far. I'm going to go ahead and complete this round by working this cable stitch the same way all the way around. And then I'll show you the row after that. Okay, I finished working the row one of the, or I should say round one, forgive me, um, of this cable all the way around. Now I'm going to join it at the same place where I joined the yarn, right here with a slip stitch, just like that. Chain one, <clears throat> and we're going to turn. Now we're going to be working with the back side facing. Okay, this will be the first time that we actually turn with the backside facing us the entire project. Um, and let me say one other thing about this. Um, the way I'm going to work row two of the cable row is a little different than if you're working it just straight across in rows. When you work straight across in rows, you would work two stitches here, or two single crochets, and then one, two, and then one, all the way around. But because of the curvature of this, if we were to do only three single crochets behind each cable, it would pull it too tight. So we're going to work two stitches in each um, stitch that is behind. I'll go ahead and hopefully give you a good view of this, and I think the contrasting colors is going to help. Okay, so two single crochets there, and two single crochets in the next stitch. <clears throat> Let me pull off. Let me try to do that again. Sometimes you can't get get the hook through all the strands. Okay, now it is kind of hard to see where these stitches are, but um, but you can see that that was a single crochet. These have been worked in already, but y'all just have to you know. And then you pull this back a little bit here, and you see the next place. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're just going to do that all the way around. Two single crochets, and then two single crochets here. So essentially what's happening, I'm going to go ahead and turn and show you. Essentially what's happening is behind each cable, you'll be working four single crochets. Four, four, four. Okay? I'm going to do this a couple more times so that you can see where I'm working these. This is probably the trickiest part. Then I pull back the cable back here a little bit. 
and then you see the space. I'll do two more for you. Two here, and then two here. I'm going to go ahead and finish this round, and then I will show you how to connect. Okay, I've worked the single crochets all the way around, and I come to the last two. Now I need to join. Now you see there's quite a gap here, and that's actually a good thing because we're going to join with the slip stitch to the first single crochet of the round, which is right here. And by doing so, this is going to pull this a little bit tighter, and I'm going to make a chain pull it tight and I'm going to fin finish off or fasten off however you like to say it and I'm going to pull that and give it a nice tug okay so <clears throat> here we we have we have our coaster it's almost completed let me let me work show you one more thing I like to show this at the end of my videos because a lot of people maybe don't do this as as well or, or just don't understand how finishing it off properly um, really really helps a lot all right so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this this needle and I threaded my yarn and I'm simply going to try to hide this thread and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go down into the into the threads I'm going to try to hide this among the yarn of the similar color, of the same color, and just pull down like that, give it a nice little tug, make that little knot disappear. And I'm just going to run it underneath the threads. Um, you can do this a variety of ways. You get to hear the geese flying over my house. I don't know if you can hear that on the recording, but they're quite loud. Okay, so go ahead and pull that. Okay, and that ought to do. Give it a nice kind of tug. It's ready to trim. Trim very carefully. Make sure you don't cut your stitches. That would be terrible. And I just have one more to do. Let me go ahead and hide that as well. Notice that I'm hiding the yarn underneath stitches that are of the same color. <clears throat> There's no rules for this um, as to where you run the stitches just want to make sure you get them under under stitches where they'll be hidden and make sure you do this on the back side okay that should be plenty to, to run this thread under and go ahead and give it a little clip and we are we are done now when you lay this flat this will flatten out and a little, tiny bit of ripple, but I wouldn't worry about that. Um, putting that on a flat surface, this will, will do quite well. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked, uh, if you'd like this, um, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, this channel here, the Bonnie Bay Crochet channel. I'm going to have new videos available regularly. God bless. Bye-bye.